Welcome to Minecraft but there are custom swords. In today's video, we're going to be crafting OP swords from literally any item in the game. And when I say any item, I really mean any item in the game ranging from a dirt sword to TNT to ice to totem and to even an incredibly overpowered notch apple sword. Can I be the dragon? What can the notch sword do? Stay tuned to find out. And a lot of you guys watching are new and not subscribed. So if you do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe with me in three, two, one. There we go. Welcome to the team. And for today, let's store the light goal to be a, whoo, that's a big one. All right, zero. 0.1 likes guys can we hit it please anyways guys enjoy the video and look at that right off the bat guys a jungle temple already waiting for us so with that being said welcome guys to minecraft but we're going to be crafting a lot of swords today and when i mean a lot of swords we're not going to be stopping just at the bread sword like we did in another video we're going to be crafting swords ranging from literally dirt swords to the final sword that i really want to get which is going to be the notch apple sword and for our first sword we're going to go ahead and craft the best sword in the game the stone sword five attack damage not really the best sword in the game the sword is actually probably nothing compared to the other swords we got to make and i I wonder can we make a bamboo sword i don't see bamboo that often might as well grab some there's so many swords that we can make today that i'm not even sure what's a sword and what's not all right i'm gonna go ahead and get in this jungle temple i never know how to do the redstone thing so i just kind of break it what okay uh skeleton straight up already in the first room what the heck okay <laughs> what the heck? oh okay an enchanted book and silk touch all right i'm not sure if that's useful at all but i guess i'll keep it and low key i could grab these pistons and even make a piston sword i don't know why my slimes are always blue please let me know in the comments down below if you know why my slimes are blue gonna get that string too actually a pretty good star guys and real quick give me all those arrows another dispenser and then i'll show you guys why i need this dispenser and only bones really can we make a bone sword a bone sword would actually be pretty cool and uh i might as well show you guys why i needed these dispensers we're actually not using a crafting table to craft today we're actually going to be making something special by throwing the crafting table and with the combination of those two we get a custom crafter so with the custom crafter we're not done there yet because we actually got to make a sword custom crafter which i think we might have enough stuff to make so i'm going to put one wooden sword the first stone sword we made two iron ingots one crafting table and four planks to finally pop out and there we go we get the sword crafter which kind of looks like a smithing table with a dispenser kind of weird but with this we can finally make one of the like 50 plus or 100 plus swords that we can make which i think our first one will be the sticky piston sword which kind of looks like a paintbrush but i'm not gonna complain also how do i break this thing oh i got it all right sword crafter don't really need the custom crafter anymore and we're pretty much done with getting our first sword which is the sticky piston sword so now i should probably use it on something i should probably go find a mob and get out of this jungle this jungle is giant oh wait a chicken right over there guys we are gonna go hit that chicken with the sticky piston sword and then try to see how many swords i can make this video my goal is to at least make 10 swords this video and at least get to the notch apple sword because i was told that the notch apple sword is very good all right what does it do oh no i insta killed it okay wait how much damage does it do oh wait it pulls foes towards me wait what no way Oh, it does. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm a pulling sword. That's interesting. Okay, so the piston pulls them back. Oh, that's cool. This might not be good against creepers, though. Oh, pandas. Guys. Okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, what is he doing? How's it going, buddy? Um, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, that was such a cute noise. I'm gonna get out of this jungle now. I'm not gonna abuse the pandas. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, we got a cow. Can we make a cow sword? Cow sword would be very cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> this would actually be so useful in a manhunt or something all right and up you go it is becoming nighttime now which is not a good sign i should probably head down to a different biome all right we're finally out of the jungle i need to get a cave though oh actually before we go to the cave i'm gonna real quick grab some sand because i feel like we could maybe make a glass sword i feel like that'd be really cool oh gosh okay a lot of iron i refuse to make an iron sword though i am only going for the super swords pretty sure there's like a firework sword there's a tnt sword there's like even like an end crystal sword a master sword which i'm not sure if i'm gonna be getting the master sword because i gotta kill a wither for that but if i do somehow end up getting wither skulls i'll go for the master sword just for the content wait a second is this possible oh my gosh okay we just made a dirt sword <laughs> okay so our first sword was a sticky piston sword and the second one would be the soil sword blinds foes for a short time actually pretty good wait does that mean the hostile mobs can't see me wait a second i just realized with silk touch i could get packed ice and i'm pretty sure there's an ice sword i can make so low-key guys i think one of the next swords i might go for once i finish mining is the ice sword so uh it's probably gonna just freeze up mobs and if we can freeze the ender dragon that is gonna be a big win guys i'm gonna be making all the swords i can i definitely made a little bit too many furnaces dang it but our next sword is gonna be the glass sword which oh okay it worked and uh so now we have the glass sword which does very little 
little damage apparently, but it causes a bleeding. What is bleeding? More bleeding damage at lower durability. So I'm gonna guess the more I use this thing, the more damage it does, but I don't think bleeding is a normal thing in Minecraft. I guess I'll test it out next time I see a mob. Oh, wait, wait, can it see me? I just hit it with a dirt sword. No, it cannot see me. All right, glass sword, do your thing. Wait, is it bleeding? It makes a literally a glass out when I hit it. I didn't see any bleeding effect, but I'm gonna guess that it does more bleeding as I break this thing more and more. Oh, all right, cape goes down. I, oh, and diamonds already. Dang, all right. I don't usually find diamonds this quickly, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it and some gold too. And before I make a special diamond sword, might as well go ahead and make it the diamond pickaxe just to make mining a little bit easier. But I actually forgot that we can actually make the dumbest sword yet, which is gonna be straight up just a stick sword. Great for practice. I don't really need a stick sword, but I'm gonna try and keep all the swords I do get. So I think my main sword for now is gonna be the glass sword. Also, I did get enough iron to make an anvil, so we might as well make one now. I did get the anvil, so we might as well go ahead and add silk touch to an iron pickaxe. I'm gonna use that once we find ice, then we could actually make an ice sword. Literally the fastest obsidian miner on YouTube. No one can beat me. Got the obsidian, and now we just need more diamonds. I know of a special diamond sword we can make once we get two more diamonds, and a creeper right here, actually. I do need some... Wait, a blood. That was kind of cool. Okay. Some lapis too. Okay. Oh, wait, what if we can make a lapis sword? That'd be kind of cool. I think it might be made out of lapis blocks, so that's going to take a little bit to get. And I haven't forgotten about the notch sword. So, so far we have only nine gold ore and in total we need like over a hundred gold. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a grind. Oh, it's bleeding. Oh, that's so cool. What the heck? Go on sword. Oh, speaking about the notch apple, I didn't even get apples. I should probably go back up soon. I mean, I'm going to be going up no matter what. The goal is to get at least 10 swords and then try and see if we can kill the dragon with all those 10 swords. Wait, I just thought about something, guys. I did get the obsidian for the engine table, but can I make an obsidian sword? Oh, I can. All right, obsidian sword gets weaker the more damage it is. But right now, it only does four attack damage, so is it even worth it? It does as good a damage as the glass sword. I feel like the obsidian sword is a little bit of a scam, but I mean, I'm not gonna question it, I guess. And some more gold, perfect. We're on a pretty good pace of getting this notch apple sword, but I still do need to get a few more things. I think to make the notch apple sword, we need one diamond sword and two notch apples, so uh, definitely gonna be a little bit of a grind. Oh, and some more lapis, nice. Okay, I also gotta get the lapis azuli sword. All right, time for another sword. There are so many swords and this is going to be non-stop. So with two lapis blocks, one stick, and wait, why is it knocked by two though? Oh, okay. I see now. Enchanted randomly when crafted. So uh, actually not a bad enchant to get right away. I do still also have the obsidian sword, which we need to try out, but I mean, it does six attack damage. It's not that bad. So I guess I'll take it. All right. Lapis sword, do your thing. Oh, it just pushes. Okay. What about the obsidian sword? Oh, this thing kind of sucks. Dang. All right. Oh, creeper. I need your gunpowder. No. Oh man. Okay. I definitely need to get some gunpowder so I can actually make a firework sword or a TNT sword. No, I feel like getting a TNT sword would be easier in a temple. And I killed it. Please have some gunpowder. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Bleed out. Bleed out. Oh, it's bleeding. Okay. Wait, wait. Is that enough bleed damage? Oh, and it is. Nice. Okay. We got some gunpowder. There's still also one up there. Okay. That's actually a good bit of gunpowder. We should at least be able to make a firework sword. All right. Some more gold. Not bad. And not even halfway there yet. And we can't even make one notch up yet. Pretty good cave though. Holy. All right. Let's see. Any diamonds we can get. Oh, wow. I don't know why this happens whenever I say it, but literally as I say it, found some diamonds around the corner. What the heck? And four diamonds. It's not bad. Okay, creeper. Oh, two creepers. Nice. Okay, I do need you guys to actually get some uh, gunpowder, please. Don't blow up. And some TNT. No, 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 no. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that was way too close. I need to get some armor quick. So on the bright side, with these diamonds, we can actually go ahead and make our first sword, which is gonna require, oddly enough, our best sword so far, which is gonna be the diamond sword. And we also need an iron sword. So with the diamond sword and the iron sword, I think with this iron sword, we should be able to make... Oh my goodness, I'm dumb. I did the completely wrong craft, and we're actually supposed to make it like this to get the critical hit sword, which apparently can critical hit for massive damage, which actually sounds really good. I'm gonna retire the glass sword so it doesn't break, but I guess we now have another sword for our collection. We have so many swords, but on the bright side, we now have a critical hit sword. We also have a lot of gunpowder. We can make one TNT already. Wait, I just remembered. I think this is a craft, actually. Oh, it is. Okay. And that is one small sword, which is gonna be the backstab sword, which deals more damage from behind. Oh, wait, actually, that could be useful. Backstab sword. Okay. It's a little sword. Look at that little thing. <laughs> kind of looks like a corn dog. We call it the corn dog sword. You know what? If you made it this far in the video, comment down below corn dog sword just to confuse people. We're gonna confuse everyone. Oh, Backstab sword. Okay, behind him. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, all right, all right. No more backstab sword. I still gotta make armor. Oh, emerald. Nice. Okay. Wait, could we make an emerald sword? Feel like that'd be useful. All right. Some more diamonds would be appreciated because I still need to get armor and I don't know why I haven't made iron armor. Oh, another emerald. Okay. So can we make that emerald sword now? Oh, again. And apparently all it does high damage to raiders, which, uh, wait, what are raiders? Like villager raiders? Interesting. Okay. All right. I guess another sword for our collection. Definitely still need a lot more gold. And I feel like I'm gonna have to use a lot of gold also for the piglins. So the notch apple sword right now is looking like the hardest sword to get. I do like this critical hit sword though. We haven't tried it yet. So we might as well try on the zombie. All right. That's one hit. 
and I guess he was gonna die no matter what to two hits unless that was a critical hit but actually looks pretty cool wait is a critical hit just when you get a bunch of particles if so this is actually a really OP sword all right give me that gunpowder 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 <gasps> Okay, I'm making armor. I don't care anymore. I don't know why I've made armor yet. I think it's because my inventory is such a mess. Okay, iron chest plate, iron pants, and iron boots. We are not gonna die after we made this many swords. We literally have so many. I really don't want to lose them and have to do this challenge again. My goal is to make at least one notch apple before I go into the nether because I think the nether is gonna be having a lot of good swords to make. Okay, uh, oh, skeleton. All right, critical hits, please. All right, critical hits, dear thing. Thank you. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, all right, some gunpowder. Oh, a lot of gunpowder. Nice. Okay, we can actually go ahead and make a TNT sword once we get sand. Not bad. Um, a saddle. Oh, and a name tag, actually. Okay, I think we can make a name tag sword, so I'm gonna keep that. And a golden apple. I'm not sure if I should grab this, though, because I don't have that much space. Oh, and another name tag, too. Okay, wait, we can actually go ahead and make a name tag sword. Not too sure what this one makes, but let's go ahead and make it. And gives mobs random names. Wait, what? Okay, wait, I gotta find a mob now. That actually sounds really cool. Oh, I hear zombie. Okay, okay. Mr. Zombie, get ready. All right, your name is gonna be Peterson. Mr. Peterson, how's it going, buddy? You're gonna get critical hit now. Oh, no, nope, nothing happened. And some more diamonds. Nice. All right. Two diamonds should be good to at least make another diamond sword to use to make another better sword. And you already know because we have the name tag sword, I'm going to be hitting every single mob we fight just so I can get a goofy name. I mean, I haven't seen a mob in a while, though. Where are the mobs? <gasps> Creeper. Okay. What's your name going to be? Joseph Collins. How's it going, Joseph? Wait, <gasps> Sir Fritch. Lydia Harris. Okay, what about you? Brooks. How's it going, Brooks? We're naming all the mobs now, and at least we got some more gold. Oh, wait, okay. Did not expect to find a cave with a single diamond vein. Dang it. On, on the bright side, we did get a nice vein of gold here. A nice six vein. Not too bad. Getting closer and closer to that first notch apple, and then we got to make another one. Notch apples are so difficult to make. And a spawner. Dang. Actually, a really nice cave. All right, what's your name going to be? Russell. You still list us more. Flores. James. I know a James, actually. Another golden apple. Nice. And and a ton of gunpowder. We're going to be making a lot of TNT related things. A loyalty too. I don't think we need loyalty too. I'm going to just leave it there. Oh, how's it going guys? All right. Uh, your name's going to be something. Rogers, Ted Bell, Beowulf, Olga. Olga. Oh, Olga. Sorry to all the Olgas actually. No, Olga's a cool name. I didn't say that. Okay. Ward. Where, where's the nesters? Come on, come on. I need a nester. Meredith, Rogers. Kind of salty we didn't get a nester name. The name tag sword is actually pretty cool though. All right. So I think I'm going to cook everything real quick and then head back to the surface to try to find some packed ice. And then once we have the ice sword, I really want to try out the ice sword once we get into the nether. So with all that gold, we can only make six gold blocks that we need eight to make a notch apple. But we'll do that in a bit. Let's go up and get some packed ice. Guys, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I just found a coral reef. Wait, could I make anything from here? Okay, we're going in the boat. All right, chest, what do you have? Holy iron and two bottles of enchanting. Okay. <laughs> all right, chest and dang. Oh wait, a TNT. I did not expect to find TNT in here. Okay, why not? Uh, stick pistons, don't need that. And I should probably get out. Okay, this might be a sign that we should probably go into the nether. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I didn't even know you could get that from that. Um, uh, <laughs> sure, Miss Five Golden Axe. Wait, are the underwater ones like really good? What the heck? And another gold block. Hold up, guys. This actually took a turn real quick. And some magma blocks, too, which I'm pretty sure we can make into something, too. Wait. Do we have enough now? Oh no, we're off by one gold block and then we literally can go ahead and make the notch apple sword. Are you serious right now? On the bright side, we do have some magma blocks down there. I think a magma sword is actually a thing. So real quick, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna assume it sets things on fire because that kind of makes sense. So, uh, but if we do this actually, Oh my gosh, it worked. Has a chance to burn, so I was pretty much right. I'm gonna assume this is pretty much a fire aspect sword, and as I'm saying that, look at that, guys. Literally at the end of the coral reef, we have an ice biome. Let's go. I really did need this. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Silk touch. Now we just need the sword crafter. Wait, so can we make an ice sword, or do I need packed ice? Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna guess we need packed ice then. How's it going, buddy? How do we make packed ice? Do we just find it? I'm gonna guess we gotta find packed ice. Kinda sucks, but you know what? It's all good. Not gonna complain. Is that packed ice over there, or what even is that? That's a village, I'm guessing. Might as well try out the magma sword. Magma sword. Oh, it works. We got fire aspect. Nice. Okay, while I'm up here, I definitely need to get some sandpaper because we have so many more swords we can make now. I see some sugarcane right there, so we might as well get that. All right, so TNT and ice sword is going to be next. Then we go into the nether, figure out what swords we can make there, and maybe I can make an extra story lunar cape sword, which is the best cape in the world. Free code right there, by the way. I guess I'll eat a golden apple right now. I need to make inventory space somehow. All right, we're going to make a lot of paper, and I'm going to go ahead and make one set of fireworks. And now all we need is some books. And while we're at it, might as well we can enchant table. Wait, can I enchant the critical hit sword? Hey, all right, I have a sharpness one critical hit sword. That's actually pretty cool. While I'm here though, can we make a snowball sword maybe? No, we can't make a snowball sword, but there definitely is one sword we can make, and that is gonna be the firework sword, which does a firework explosion on target. Wait, all right, I'm gonna fight the zombie real quick with this thing. 
Oh, that's so cool. What the heck? Oh, wait. So it does damage to me too. Interesting. Actually, a pretty beautiful sword. Hey, look at it go. All right. Fireworks sword actually gets a 10 out of 10 for me. That's a pretty cool one. All right. And since we have this right now, might as well. Real quick. Sharpness one fireworks sword. Why not? Gonna enchant my own armor too. Brought one. Brought one. Who needs full diamond when you literally have a fireworks sword? Projectile protection one. Probably gonna get shot. And protection one. Nice. I'm gonna use a name tag sword a lot. So I'm gonna give it sharpness one too. Why not? Oh, wait. I should probably get some sand right now. All right. So now with the sand, I think we should be good to make the TNT sword. And just like that, we got the TNT sword. And all it says is causes explosions. Four attack damage. Not that good, but I'm not going to underestimate the TNT sword. In a matter of like two hours, guys, I've made 13 new swords. What the heck? Oh, TNT sword. Might as well try it out. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that is actually really good. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely using that against a dragon. All right. Is this what they call the packed ice? Not sure. Oh, I'm breaking your home. I'm so sorry, but you know what? Oh. <gasps> Packed ice. Oh, it is. Okay, nice. Okay, this should work. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to guess it's blue ice. And it didn't work. Okay, we got to make blue ice. All right, on the bright side, I think I can just steal this guy's house and make some blue ice. All right, we got two blue ice. I think this one should 100% work now. And just like that, it worked. And we got the ice sword, which is going to be freezing foes in place. Not bad. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to try freezing might be a bad idea. I'm going to give you a name real quick. Catherine. Ice sword. Oh, it froze it. No way. That's so cool. Oh, it unfroze. Okay, we're getting out of here. And this is actually a pretty cool sword. 10 out of 10 for me. Again, freeze you. Freeze you. All right, I'm definitely going to be enchanting this one. Sharpness one, freeze sword. Knockback one, emerald sword. Why not? Oh, sharpness one book, actually. Sharpness one. Let's go ahead and make a sharpness two critical hit sword. I think this sword is probably our most powerful one, but the notch sword might change that up real quick. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's actually go into the nether. All right, that should be a good spot. I wish there was like another portal sword. That'd be kind of cool. Did not expect to make this many swords, though. I did say I was going to make a lot of swords, but we ended up with so so many. All right, I'm gonna assume that we can make a lot of new stuff in the nether, and I mainly actually gotta use a lot of this gold to get ender pearl. So without that being done, let's go. Okay, we are in, and there are so many new blocks we can actually try to make swords with. Oh, and another fortress right away. Holy, I am so lucky with these nether fortresses. We got some nether ward, but I'm not here for the nether ward because I think we can make another sword here. So actually, with the soul sand, we should be able to make. Oh, there we go. A curse of vanishing curse sword deals massive damage. Oh no, it can hit either the target or user. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that, guys. Knowing my luck, I am probably going to end up getting hit every single time and die. But we might as well try out once. I'm not sure if it's going to insta-kill me, but if it does, then the video would just be over because obviously we're in hardcore mode. So, oh, okay. Massive damage there. It hasn't done massive damage to myself yet. Oh, wow. Am I just really lucky? Oh, it did massive damage. That was three and a half hearts. Okay. Holy blazes. Okay. Okay. So before I go in there real quick, I'm going to actually go ahead and make a shield. I'm going to go in with the ice sword. Freeze. 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 Critical hit sword. Nice. Oh my gosh. These guys do so much damage. Freezing is actually pretty good. Actually, might be smarter. Let's use a TNT sword instead. No, you're going to go away, aren't you? Oh gosh. I'm taking a little bit too much damage there. I did get another blaze rod. In total, we have four blaze rods. That's going to be eight blaze powder and just a little bit more and we should be good. Still need to get the other pulls though. All right. You are going to be... Wait, is that Nestor? I see an or. What, what's your name? Your name is... Ta Taylor's dying. Nope. No. So with that, we should have the 12 blaze powder we need. I think that should be enough for now. I'm just going to go ahead and leave now. Okay, finally some glowstone. Oh, wait, we have silk touch. I completely forgot. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even realize my pickaxe was silk touch. I should probably switch it for the diamond one. Yeah, that might be smart. All right, so with the glowstone, I think this should... Oh, there we go. It should be a glowstone sword, which illuminates the target. Six attack damage. We're getting a lot of six attack damage ones. I don't think I've gotten anything better than six. Oh, we have Hoglin over there. Okay, I need to get one for actual ender pearls. Okay, my man, I have you a lot of gold and you're gonna stop shooting me oh no you're not gonna stop shooting me i need a lot more hoglins actually all right i'm kind of stuck with you buddy all right you're gonna go down straight there i'm literally just gonna throw as much gold as i can down there all right enjoy all that buddy i'll see you in a bit okay it should have been long enough now oh and we have some pearls okay nice um not sure if i want to kill this guy i think we should be fine to find another one ramirez i'm sorry ramirez but i'm gonna have to glowstone you real quick one two okay uh please be enough ender pearls i think we can make an ender pearl sword actually so and there we go 16 ender pearls not too bad and i'm gonna go ahead and actually make an enderman sword which with right click we randomly teleport oh gosh wait do i want to use this i'm gonna grab this real quick before i randomly teleport and we can also go ahead and make 12 eyes of ender finally which hopefully we don't break any all right so enderman sword teleport me somewhere really that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> we just got teleported back okay uh all right so with that being done let's go to the portal get back and try to find the stronghold oh wait no we can't even do that yet because i completely forgot we still got to get two more blocks of gold and one apple to actually make the notch apple sword dang it oh wait there's gold all over the place okay let's mine some gold oh wait quartz could i make a quartz sword a quartz sword kind of sounds cool let me try that real quick actually all right i feel like i am not gonna have any inventory space anytime soon and of course we can all right quartz sword has power in the nether but not the overall 
world. Wait, does that have a special power though? Go on, Quartz Sword. Is that it? It just does damage. All right, that kind of sucks. All right, nine gold ingots. And finally, after all that work, eight blocks of gold. All that's left now is just getting one apple. And I don't think we're going to get an apple in the nether. So let's go ahead and get back to the overworld. Oh, wait. Okay, as I just got back, I have to see a Bastion over there. Man, that would have been useful earlier. Well, not going for the Bastion. We're going straight back. And we are back. Okay. Bit of a long trip, but all we got to do now is just get an apple. So we actually got three apples here. Not bad. So first thing, let's go ahead and finally make our enchanted golden apple. Literally took so much work to finally get that. And before we make the ultimate sword, guys, I just realized I think we can make an apple sword. Oh, again, wait, a notch sword. This is definitely not the notch sword. The notch sword is what we're going to be making next, but makes mobs drop apples. Hold up. Oh my gosh, wait, it does. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> wait, mobs are dropping apples now. Wow, that's actually sick. What the heck? So if you look at my inventory, I definitely have way too many swords now. Like, what the heck? But we're definitely not done there, guys, because now it's time for the ultimate sword. It's probably in the thumbnail too, guys. So now with these two notch apples, we're going to be using a normal crafting table because it's a little bit of a special craft and it's gonna take two notch apples and i've been saving this diamond sword for this final special craft which is gonna be and there it is the sharpness five apparently notch apple sword a sword crafted with the finest apples in minecraft the wielder receives the blessing of notch and there we go guys we finally made it that cost us a lot of gold and now we finally have the real notch apple sword not this red just notch sword and now that we're holding it we get infinite regen too and what happens when we hit something oh Oh, it's, I guess it's just a sharpness five sword. Interesting. So my dev told me to right click the sword and just run away. I'm gonna guess that means something bad's about to happen. We're doing it. I'm gonna run away as far as I can. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So apparently right clicking spawns a giant golden apple from the sky to hit the floor and make an explosion. That's actually really sick. That's definitely the best ability we've seen so far. Oh, okay. I may have right clicked way too much. Oh my gosh. And now that we have all the swords, we might as well start going to the stronghold straight that way. Oh wait. Oh, it went back. Okay. All right. It should be somewhere around here then. I really don't want to throw another one. So I'm just going to guess because uh, if it's a 12 missing thing. Oh, wait, that's actually really good timing. What the heck? Okay. I'm going to kill you just in case. Wait, what if I just right click one sec? I'm going to try killing this guy with the giant golden apples. Meteor apples going. Kill the Enderman. Oh, did I kill him? Oh my gosh. I don't think I got an ender pearl from that. But either way, that was really cool. Okay, I definitely need to find the stronghold now though. Oh, here's a zombie. That could be a good sign. Oh, and straight on stone brick. There we go. We went straight into the worst part of the stronghold. But I already hear some lava. So look, I hear silverfish. Wait, no way. The portal room's like right by us right now. Oh, there it is. All right, nice. We didn't even need all the 12 eyes. Not bad. And with these last eyes of enders, there we go. We can finally go into the portal. But before we go in, let's go ahead and count how many swords we ended up making today. So in total, we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 swords in total. Holy, that is way too overkill. So without that being done, guys, let's do this. Okay, the dragon's over there. I might as well use an ender pearl. Why not? It is time, dragon. I brought in lots of swords, and I think I'm gonna break all the crystals the old-fashioned way with the giant golden apple. That's one. That's two. Oh, that hurt the dragon too, but it did no damage. Oh, wait, no, it's because I broke the end crystal, I think. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm gonna kill the dragon with a sword. Wait, no, wait, that's gonna work. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? I didn't even get to use the other sword swords. No. What just happened? That was the quickest end fight of my life. Well, I definitely didn't expect the end to go that way, but that was definitely one of the easiest endings to a challenge I've ever done. So we got the dragon egg and with all that being done, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye guys.